Our 11th factor is the tip design. Now, something a lot of people don't think about, but did some extensive testing and study with different design tips, where we had rounded tips, concave tips, needle tips, tanto tips, just about chisel tips, everything you could think of. Uh, and we tested all of them uh, against tissues, against bone, and we also looked at the skip angle, which we were going around and shooting at angles into the bones uh, and seeing at what point the tip would tend to skid off the bone. Now, the single best point all around uh, is unquestionably the tanto tip. Uh, nothing else came really close. Uh, its skip angle is during near 45 degrees. The only thing that might have done as well would be a true needle tip. Now, I'm not talking about bone breaker type trocar points, any of that stuff. They often initiate skids off of bones. I'm talking about a two blade head that comes down to a fine needle point. The trouble with those was that none was strong enough to stand up to the impact on the bone. And that negated any potential they would have. Uh, if they were strong enough, there's a possibility that they might have as good a skip angle as the Tanto. I don't think it would be any better. But the Tanto tip is something that you really should have, be adding on just about any fixed blade broadhead uh, because there's no other tip design that works as well. The second best all around was a rounded tip, and it falls off miserably when you come to skip angle. So tip design is something is not a big factor, but when it comes into play, like when you take that angling shot and have that angular impact on the bone, that becomes a big factor. Or when you slam into a really heavy bone, head of the humerus, spinal column, jaw bone. I know people that have done that. <laughs> okay. Pay attention to your tip design. <laughs>